Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today, you're going to learn how to set up and start coding in Java using Visual Studio Code, which is a powerful and versatile code editor. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, this will help you get started quickly and efficiently. First, let's install Visual Studio Code. If you haven't already, head over to the web, official website at code.visualstudio.com and download the installer for your operating system. Follow the installation instructions and you will have VS Code up and running in no time. Next, we need to install the Java Development Kit or JDK. This is essential for compiling and running Java programs. You can download the JDK from Oracle open JDK and other providers. To do so, let's, let's open a browser and let's Google um, download JDK for Windows. So get a bunch of results, but the first result, which is the Java download Oracle. So let's click on this and it will be taken to this page. Yeah. So as you can see here now, we've got a bunch of operating system that you can use or which is applicable to you. So I've actually selected Windows and you select whatever installation type that you want okay in my case I selected MSI installer okay so once you do so just follow the installation uh, instructions and everything will be installed so once you're done with that bit here let's go back and open our Visual Studio code so here we have to also install the extensions for um, extensions back for Java yeah so we come to the extension so here as you can see here we've got um, a bunch of extensions that we can actually download so as you can see I've actually got some um, extensions installed yeah for but for this video sake I'm gonna collapse that yeah and we actually can type in extension extensions pack for Java so as we can see here now we've got the first result so this is a popular extension I mean extensions for Java development that provides Java intelligence debugging testing and whatnot yeah so let's select it so basically as you can see here now it comes with a, um, a bunch of other extensions but they're all downloaded and installed automatically so as you can see here now I'm, I've already installed it yeah so what you're gonna do is there will be a button here that you can click to install it so follow whatever instructions that you get and complete the installation process okay okay so there's one more thing that I was meant to say yeah so uh, to make things even easier you can you can install the coding pack for Java, which includes VS Code, J the JDK, and Essential Java extensions. So this pack, um, this pack is available for Windows and Mac OS. You can find it on the Visual Studio Code website under the Java tutorial section. Okay. So also bear that one in mind. So. Now that we've actually installed the extensions and whatever it needed for us to start coding in Java, let's go to the, let's come to this bit here. Now, okay, let's close it here. So right now we've got this page. So what we do is you're going to um, select Control Shift P. So this will actually open this terminal and you're going to type um, create Java project you can see it there but I just want to type it for you to know what is going on so actually so this is what we're going to do um, <clears throat> it's actually Java colon create Java project yeah so we select it so here there, there are a bunch of project types that we can select so that's like Spring Boot Marvin and whatnot, yeah. But we're going to select the no build tools, yeah. This works with source code directly without any build tools, okay. 
but let's select it so this will actually open so we're going to create a new folder a new folder to get us started i'm just going to select my video folder but you can create a, a, a folder wherever you want okay so i'm just going to create a new folder here i'm just going to call it java 101 okay and select it so here we got we can we have to input our uh, java project name so we're going to input whatever project name that we want to give it i will make it yt video a youtube video yeah and we press enter so as you can see here this will create a new um, um, a java project for us so as you can see the project name is yt video so we are going to have a look at so let's first of all let's have a look at the source so inside the source we've got this app.java so let's select it so as you can see here now we have uh, this very simple console or terminal or command line app, um, application yeah we've got a class created a, a java class called app in which we've got our this method the main method main method is just the entry the entry point for the application here and the application prints out hello world so as you can see here it's a very simple java application okay so what we do next is we're going to run this application to see what actually comes out okay so what we do is we can run the application in many ways here you can you can f5 you can select f5 or you can select the top bit here run and you select you can run without debugging which is control f5 or you can start debugging which is f5 okay or you can actually go inside the app right click the app and then you can run java okay so let's let's select this bit here and then start debugging So as you can see here now, we've got an application run successfully, and we've got the printout here. Hello world. So as you can see here now, it's very simple to get us started here. And then if you make changes to the application for some reason, let's say hello world from YouTube. Yeah, you can come to the file and save, save all. Okay. So this will save the changes that you can run and debug. So as you can see here now, we've got the run and debug showing. Yeah. So as you can see here now, we've got hello world from YouTube. So we've got the changes reflected. So I'm going to leave this video, this video here for now. But I've got lots of videos coming up in terms of Visual Studio Code. And look further in terms of creating on a java application so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do and if you liked the video please like it and share the video to help the channel so that i can create better contents thanks for your time bye bye